You've probably seen headlines. AI is replacing IT jobs. Sysadmins are done for. ChatGPT is coming for your paycheck. I'm here to tell you that's not what's actually happening in 2026. Here's the truth. AI is not replacing people. It's replacing lazy habits. It's replacing the repetitive stuff, the copy-paste Googling, the people who stopped learning five years ago and think clicking through some really special wizard is technical, and the people who are really growing right now are actually using AI to multiply their skills. I've been using AI every day as a sysadmin for the last year to troubleshoot servers, automate scripts, write good documentation, and even clean up my ticket notes. And every time I think, wow, that just saved me an hour, it doesn't make me nervous it makes me better. Because here's the absolute truth. AI is not a threat. Complacency is. In this video, I'll break down what's actually happening in 2026, how AI is changing the IT landscape, which skills are becoming more valuable, and the specific ways that you can use AI to level up your career instead of losing it. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, let's get something straight. The myth that AI is taking IT jobs that you hear so often is most often from people who don't actually work in IT. They see a couple flashy demos or some chatbot writing a PowerShell script, and all of a sudden they think that all IT techs and sysadmins are doomed. But if you've spent more than five minutes managing a real network, you know that that's not how this actually works. What AI is replacing are those really repetitive tier one tasks that nobody wanted to do anyway. Things like password resets, canned emails, or boilerplate troubleshooting. That's not the core of IT. That's the noise around it. And here's the truth. If your value for a company is memorizing commands, sure, you're going to be obsolete because AI is faster and it remembers way more than you. But it still can't walk into a hybrid environment and figure out why your authentication flow is failing or where your DNS got misconfigured. AI can copy knowledge, but it can't copy judgment. Think about calculators. They didn't replace accountants, although accountants were scared they would. They replaced the bad ones. And it's the same deal here. AI is not removing IT jobs. It's just filtering out the people who stopped learning. The people who adapt, the ones who use AI as a multiplier, are the ones who are getting promoted. They're not getting kicked away. So if AI isn't replacing IT jobs, what is it doing? It's kind of forcing a shift from people who just do tasks to people who actually understand systems. Five years ago, being good at IT meant that you remembered where every random checkbox lived. Some people are still living in the five years ago go and think that they're really good at IT when they're not as good as they think they are. Back then you could click through wizards, you could even remember every PowerShell flag and you or yourself were a wizard. But I'm going to be honest, the value of pure memorization is gone. The techs who thrive now are the ones who understand why those settings exist, who can see how identity, networking, and automation fit together. AI handles the routine parts, typing, syntax, documentation. What's left is the human element of logic, context, and judgment. So it's not who can deploy some Intune stuff faster, it's who can design a conditional access policy that doesn't lock out half the company. AI can definitely tell you what to change, but it cannot tell you if that change makes sense in your environment. It can't see that an old legacy firewall rule is going to break some banking app, or that an endpoint still needs an exception. That is on you. So the bar for value is definitely moving up. Instead of being the one who runs scripts, you're gonna be the one who designs the things that automate. Instead of following checklists, you're gonna be the one writing them. Now the future of IT is part engineer, part analyst, and part problem solver. Someone who uses AI as an assistant to solve problems and find solutions. So how are smart techs actually using AI? Where AI is really pulling its weight is as a troubleshooting partner. When I'm staring at some random Kerberos error or some event log that just doesn't make sense to me, I'll drop the exact details into ChatGPT. I'll say, explain this 4771 error between DC1 and DC2, code 0x12. Clocks are synced, what could be causing this? Within seconds, I have hypotheses, potential causes, commands that I can use to verify certain things. That doesn't replace me, it just speeds up the boring part. Instead of digging through 10 outdated forum posts, I can actually focus on what fits in my environment, what actually makes sense in this situation, and I can start testing right away. Now the trick is learning to talk to AI like a junior admin. You have to feed it the right context, error codes, environment type, symptoms, and it'll hand back some better insights, but you still ultimately own the judgment. AI is fast, it is sometimes wrong, and it is always very literal. Treat it as your brainstorming buddy and not your decision maker, and give it as much information as you possibly can. This is the difference between an overwhelmed tech and a super efficient promoted one. Now, AI isn't just for fixing problems, it's for creating them too. One of the best ways to utilize AI is to use it as your personal AI lab assistant. You can literally tell it, write me a PowerShell script that's gonna simulate a fake environment. It's gonna make groups, 
users, organizational units, and organize it all in a way that it looks like a real company. AI will spit this out in seconds. Spin that up in a test virtual machine in Azure, and you can literally start breaking stuff in your own test environment in seconds. I made a series about this, and it's extremely cheap as well. That's how you learn. It's also phenomenal for studying for certifications. Uh, you can ask it to generate real life type questions for certifications like AZ-104, SC-300, CCNA, anything that you can think of. You can have it quiz you on topics that you struggle with. You can even have a conversation with the voice function of ChatGPT where it's like you're talking to a real person. It's uncanny, but uh, I do it while I go on walks. Understand AI turns studying into more active learning if you utilize it right. It's like having a personal mentor that walks you through step-by-step -step every single lab that you could ever want, any command you could ever need, any technical explanation, and it never gets tired. So if if you're using it right, you can stop reading about IT and literally start doing IT right now. Again, this is exactly what separates fast learners apart from everyone else. Now, one thing that's underrated in my estimation too is using AI to write better ticket notes. When I make ticket notes, I want to look professional. When I'm taking ticket notes, I just want to do stuff fast. So I'm writing this chicken scratch garbage into whatever note system that I use. I can take all of that, put it into AI and say, hey, Format this nicely for the client. In two seconds, I get a polished write-up that looks like it was written by a senior engineer, when really it was just my bullet points put into ChatGPT, and ChatGPT made it beautiful. Now understand you still need to tweak it. Part of my prompt with ticket notes is always no emojis, bullet point or list style how I like, no bold, unless I want bold, and no M dashes, because M dashes make things very obvious that it was written by AI. Even if you just have it summarize things, summarize an email or anything like that, this stuff gets noticed. Now you also need to be careful with this, that you're not putting any non-public information into AI, because that's easy to do. So anytime I'm gonna build something out with AI, like an email, I will just redact things. So I'll redact the name. If I'm asking it questions about Exchange, I will just redact the email and the domain. So I'll call it email one at domain one, email two at domain one, for example. This way you can get beautiful tickets notes and you kind of just got to fill in the blanks with the stuff that's applicable to your situation. Remember, good communication helps you stand out and AI just helps you do good communication faster. Now let's discuss AI with scripting and automation. This is where AI is absolutely phenomenal. Again, you can tell it, write me a PowerShell script that will push out all the managers of these users into a CSV at this location. It'll hand you a functional script, but the real power comes when you tell it to teach you about the script. I'll have it explain line for line what a script does. I'll have it add in error handling things like a dry run capability, things like a 15 second wait where I can click any letter before it actually starts. It'll make me a description, a synopsis, a beautiful write up. Suddenly it's not just giving me stuff, it's actually teaching me. Now with all of this, you need to note, I had the context that I know I need to put all of that things into AI. So I need to tell it where it's gonna push my CSV file. I need to tell it that I want certain error handling, that I want a dry run, that I want my synopsis. Now I can use this AI to strengthen my scripting knowledge. I write tons of scripts. I probably write one script per day. But when I say I write, is it really me writing the script? No, it's ChatGPT writing the script, me looking it over, filling in the redacted information that I have to fill in and making sure that it works correctly. I also check my scripts from one AI to another AI. So if I write it in ChatGPT, I'll check against it with Copilot or Claude. Now on the note of scripting, there are some things that go along with AI that are gonna be very, very, very useful for you as a tech and I think you should learn right away. Start with VS Code. Visual Studio Code is absolutely clutch when you know nothing about coding. I don't even know what you call it. It's like a terminal, like a thing where you can write your code, you can store your files. Um, it uses your file system, but it's really nice for being able to navigate files, for saving things like PowerShell, JSON, YAML, and then pair this with Git. Learn Git and version control and pushing things to repos in things like GitHub. If you can understand Git as a system tech or a system administrator, it is so, so, so useful. Version control with code is very useful. Before I knew this, I was vibe coding apps with ChatGPT and I was saving each iteration of my app as a different number. So I would put like plant app one dot pi, plant app two dot pi, plant app 20 dot pi, and I'm saving all these different versions. That's crazy. Use Git, you can push, and then you can pull to your PC or to your Raspberry Pi or to some server whenever you need to. Now you're not just the PowerShell guy, you're the guy who can build and automate at scale. If you wanna work in tech and you don't like coding, you don't wanna work in tech. You need to start learning scripting, automation, and a little bit of coding. You don't have to be an expert by any means, but AI has amplified what you can do. Again, AI does not make you more technical, it just makes you faster, cleaner, more consistent, and you can use it to become more technical by telling it to teach you what it's doing. Again, we're looking at the difference between somebody writing scripts and somebody automating systems in an intelligent way. Now I have to put the important caveat in here, 
Do not run any script in a production environment that you don't know what it's doing. Make sure that you know everything that is going on in your script because I've seen it before where somebody runs a script, they don't exactly know what it's doing, it does something recursively and it borks a bunch of PCs or it borks a server. You need to be very careful. And then again, AI doesn't just help you with your current job, it can also help you get your next job. Use it as a career mentor. If you're updating your resume, post it into ChatGPT, go through 30 different iterations saying that you want actionable things, you want quantifiable things, GPT even has this separate GPT thing that it has like a specific resume GPT. So it'll tell you certain sections of your resume that need help, uh, how you can change it. If you want a resume for reference, feel free to take a look at mine. I used this strategy to make it. It's cloud hosted at resume.jakehullberg.dev. Look at how things are quantifiable. I tried to make it beautiful. I think it's probably a little bit too wordy, but... Again, I could take it and go through ChatGPT and say, hey, make this less wordy, make it more technical, emphasize the cloud things that I'm doing, emphasize the networking things that I'm doing. So using ChatGPT with building out a resume is super, super useful for getting that next job. Now, I'm also doing this for my LinkedIn profile and for any portfolios that I have, whether it's GitHub or whatever. Use AI to optimize it. And then lastly, you can have AI act like a hiring manager. Again, you can use that voice function and tell it, hey, ask me questions like an interviewer would for this role. Here's the job description. And it's going to ask you phenomenal questions where you're going to be able to practice, practicing out loud is super duper important to be able to actually get to an interview and speak. I've had many people come to me and say, hey, Jake, I've gotten five interviews and I've never gotten a job. What's wrong? Probably the way you interview, right? So you need to practice your soft skills. You need to practice conveying technical information. You need to practice how you present yourself. ChatGPT can help you with this. So how you can future proof your skills in the age of AI is if AI can automate it, you need to learn the layer above it. You need to be a controller of AI. Use it to amplify your ability to do stuff. Because again, AI can handle scripting. It can build out beautiful PowerShell scripts, but it cannot handle network level automation or architecting something that's beautiful and actually useful and actually secure. People know that as you go up the ladder with AI, it gets worse and worse. AI can vibe code separate parts of a web app, but you need to understand how the parts go together. You need to understand that you shouldn't be putting API keys in your GitHub repository uh, that's publicly facing. You need to understand that you need to build a secure database. Uh, you need to understand how all of this stuff fits together in a secure way. AI can help you do things. It can also help you understand things. But AI does not do and understand. It just does. So double down on the fundamentals. Understand uh, basic networking knowledge, subnets, VLANs, things like that. Use AI to help you understand this stuff and learn the level above what AI is currently automating. You will always be in demand. The thing that I'm getting at here is that you need to utilize AI and you need to also be curious, confident, and competent. AI is a beautiful helper that can help amplify you, from my estimation, three to four times as a tech. It's very, very useful. So AI is not going to take your job but somebody using AI is going to take your job. This is the message that I wanna to convey today. Look at this as something that's scary if you want. The way I see it is something that's very, very beautiful because somebody who is a technical dummy, like I was a year and a half ago, can go from being literally knowing nothing to, in my estimation, a good system administrator in a year and a half, ready to promote, ready to move on to my next position, doing cool things that I would never be able to do uh, five to 10 years ago in this short of a period of time. So use it to amplify your career. I wish you guys the absolute best. Let me know your thoughts, opinions in the comments. Appreciate all the support lately. You guys be safe, be smart, make some good decisions, and good luck utilizing AI.